Shannon's oh shit, it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at how blue the water is. South, they say it's not the heat, it's the humidity. I wonder if hikers have this saying where it's not the distance, it's the elevation. So I definitely feel like my legs are gonna feel so real tomorrow. All right, some honesty time. I live a very sedentary lifestyle. I don't go out a lot. I sit at my desk for most of my work. I don't really hike on a regular basis. So doing 20,000 plus steps a day has been really hard on my hips and my legs and my knees, my feet. Even though I'm wearing like very comfortable clothing and very comfortable shoes, I feel regretful that I'm not doing more each day. By two o'clock, I was done. Um, I started out the day at 8 a.m. with four hours of sleep. Could have gone out again like an hour after coming back to the hostel, but when I started walking outside to the grocery store to get something to eat, my legs were so sore. I guess it's just a PSA if you are going on a trip where you are doing a lot of walking and hiking to prepare for it, to really condition your body for it in the months leading up to it so that you're not feeling like you're wasting the day. <laughs> but also I think you just need to do one big thing and then be okay with that. Chill for the rest of the evening and that's fine. The walls in this hostel are really paper thin and I can hear doors closing and slamming all the time. I don't know if you heard that one, but that's the reception door and I'm right above it. And so the sounds just kind of reverberate. I have a balcony. I haven't used it. My balcony is just weird, especially in this Swiss chalet situation because you end up seeing or looking at other people that are using your balconies. I'm not a balcony person, unless the balcony is facing a forest. Anyways, that's it. Whatever. Um, Jesus Christ.